Good morning. Um, yesterday, um, we had community keepers were privileged to ask to talk at a leadership conference that the Rupert Foundation School Projects um, arranged for the principals and some other teams or members of their management teams in um, all of the schools in the Franschhoek area. And we were asked to speak about work-life balance. And because it's Mental Health Day today and it's Mental Health Month, we decided that we will speak about the importance of self-care and self-compassion and how when you start looking at yourself and you make some tweaks um, to really enhance your mental health, you can bring balance in, in that way. And we thought we'll also share uh, two of the activities we did with them and um, with you so that you can take a moment and make a cup of coffee, take a moment to pause and to reflect on how you are really doing and what the one or two things are that you can start doing or stop doing to enhance your mental health. So let's have a look at the first, the first activity. So we asked the simple question of how are you, but we looked at different aspects of mental health. And as you can see, we asked people to plot um, on each of those lines how these aspects are doing. You will see um, at the top, if we go clockwise, we spoke about emotional or mental health, spoke about spiritual health, whatever that means to you. Um, we spoke about social well-being, so your interaction with friends. We spoke about family, about hobbies or personal development, rest, work and career, and then also physical health. If you see, if you start plotting this, and you can say, oh, yeah, it's going really great with my career, it's going well with my family, but my physical health, my fitness um, is, not, is not going so well. I'm not spending enough time on hobbies that is not so going going so well. It it brings a different picture. And if you connect these dots, you'll um, see that if we saw this as a wheel, um, this wheel is not going to bring you very far. It's going to be quite a bumpy ride. And the idea of this exercise is just to become more intentional and to identify which aspects of your well-being um, may may need some attention and may need some some time to reflect on. Um, when we ask how are you, it's not only one of these aspects, but really all of them. And maybe there are even others that you would like to add to that. The second exercise uh, we did is asking people, if you look at this, this, um, these same aspects of well-being and you had to prioritize them. So we had eight aspects. Like I said, maybe you want to add some others. But if you prioritize that, so in the in the middle um, circle, that 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 dotted line, um, just like numbering from from one to one to eight, you know. So maybe mental health is your first priority. You can see on this on this picture, uh, this person put their hobbies as their eighth priority. So not as important as mental health or as spiritual um, well being. Um, and I want to encourage you to take a moment to do this, but then also to take a next step and go and think about how you spend your time. How do you spend your week? And then on the outer circle saying, okay, how many hours per week do I actually spend on each of these um, aspects? Um, and of course, you know, some things will naturally take more, more time. But if you start looking at these hours versus your priority, are you spending time that adds the best value to your well-being that really energizes you and you can maybe even do this exercise um you know just take work and think about all the diff different activities that you do at work or at school um, and you know what are the ones that you prioritize that, that adds value to you that really brings passion and you know bring some life um, and how much time are you spending on on those on those things? Um, and that will maybe help you to be more intentional and in spending more time on aspects that are actually quite valuable to you. The last thing I want to um, share with you is just some um, quick tips on how to improve your self care. And I always tell um, colleagues. Um, and anybody who wants to listen, that well-being or self-care is not only bubble baths and spa days, but it can be small intentional steps. So the first one is the importance of intentionality, of making sure, of seeing like what are the things that I want to spend time on and planning that, putting it in your diary. And it doesn't have to be a whole day of spending time with family or on your hobbies. It can be an hour, it can be half an hour, it can be one moment of just having your coffee behind a closed door or in 
a, a space that is really beautiful to you and that brings some life um, and some and some rest to you. So being intentional about adding those those things um, into your life. The importance of debriefing, especially if you work with people or you live with people, to have somebody that you can download with, that you can think a bit about, like what is, how was my day, um, to process that. The importance of boundaries, saying yes to the important things and saying no to things that don't add value or that are not a priority. Um, to switch off your phone after hours, to to set rules in your in your workplace about when you can be contacted, putting out and out of out of office, um, limiting your screen time, all of those things kind of boundaries can that can be really helpful. And then the importance of rest, which could include sleep, but it's not only sleep. What are the things that makes you feel um, rested? Um, the importance of boredom or silence. We tend to fill all the gaps in our time with mostly without with our phones. If you think about standing in the in the queue when you go um, and do some shopping, and if the queue is long, the first thing when you after you've parked your trolley, you take out your phone, you start scrolling, and sometimes we open up emails, and that adds um, some stress to our to our day again. So just switching off, like creating spaces where you are doing nothing, um, because we know boredom then also cultivates um, creativity. If a child is bored, they start playing, they start doodling, they start drawing, um, and we miss out on that if we don't create space for that. And then the importance of fun, doing something, and it can be something small, it can be listening to one song and moving to it. It can be making one drawing if that is, is that something you enjoy. It is picking up your guitar and playing um, for like 10 minutes, something that brings you fun. It can be going out for a walk, can be jumping on a trampoline. Um, so something that brings you fun um, and that can bring you some, some improved mental health. So yeah, we really hope that this can help you Take a moment, think about um, how you are, what you value, and how the time you spend is adding the best value to you. Happy Mental Health Day. Um, we are rooting for you, um, and we hope that the rest of this week is great as well.